<laughs> Wait, is this a is this a slot machine? Up. I think you need to go over twice. Up and then the go over four times. That's actually pretty good. Hey everybody, it's Monster, and thank you for joining me today. So, before we start today's chapter, I just want to leave where we left off in the last one, because we made some sales at the Mong Shop. So, I believe Blacksplayer came by here earlier, and he bought my gunpowder for two diamonds, and he bought some cookies, so that's nice. And I really doubt it, but I'm just going to check if... Yeah... No one, uh, no one gave me clay. I feel like that's kind of a bad deal, honestly. So, I have a very specific idea for today's chapter. I want to build a slot machine. I've been thinking about it for a week now, designing it in my head. But when I finally come on here to try to start it, this suspiciously casino-looking building has popped up. I don't really know what the deal is uh, here. I suspect the Kelphone stole my idea before I had a chance to execute it, but... I'm gonna build this thing anyway at the end of the path because you'll always be able to see it when you enter the shopping district. To make this thing work, I'm gonna need a lot of redstone wiring. So I'm probably gonna build it up in the sky here so I don't have to worry about removing land or shoving it underground or anything like that. It'll just save myself a lot of time. So I'll get back to you when I start the machine. So after a little bit of work, I've started construction on this slot machine. Kelphone has finished his casino uh, which I'm not worried about because mine will be way better and more impressive. So if we head up here, we have these colorful wool things. And my plan is that these are going to spin around. You could probably tell that this is a piston feed loop. Depending on the combination you get, uh, you'll get a prize corresponding. I've set these up so that they change at the switch of a button. They go pretty slowly now, but hopefully once I set up a minecart system, and there will be a minecart system, it will go a little bit faster. If you check these out, it took me a long time, longer than I care to admit, how to figure this out, but I managed to get them all to fit in a one wide space so I could get these as close as possible. I don't really want them any farther apart. I want this to look very sleek when it's finished. As far as I understand, there's no tutorials for this, like at all. I looked for random number generators or random output generators, uh, on old videos and I could not find any. So this is completely my invention for the most part. Uh, I have this all pretty much thought out and I'll show you step by step how I'm building it, if I can get it to work. Okay, so I messed with these circuits a little bit and I managed to get these uh, to rotate a little bit faster and now they're hooked up to a minecart loop, so check this out. Oh man, I forgot the detector rails, hold on. Okay, as I was saying, these minecarts are gonna go around and every time they hit this detector rail, they're going to switch that block and it should go a lot faster than the button was letting me do it, so. That's as fast as I can get it to go. I'm gonna try to hook all these up. That is awesome. Right, it's gonna be kind of spinning like that. It'll be a little bit more rhythmic. That's basically what I am looking for in this slot machine here. Pepper's actually online right now. I'm gonna bring him over here and just ask his opinion on it. Here he comes, all armored up. I've fallen off this thing oh, so many times. I would have not have died if it weren't for armor. Gotta get yourself some armor. Yeah, I know, but I, it's just such a chore. Getting armor is too much of a chore, but you built this. So, okay, what's the deal here? So, have you ever played slots before? Uh, yes. Okay, so this is that. Those are your slots. That's kind of the That's idea. That's pretty cool, actually, yeah. Pretty it looks cool. pretty smooth, looks like it's all flowing. Yeah, this was just took, like, way too long. Yeah, I bet. It's so loud. So, the next part of this machine has been installed. That is these piston feed tapes that correspond exactly with the ones in the front. Now, what I mean by that is that when a minecart rolls by a detector plate, this one will turn one and this one will turn one. Right now that's set to blue, and this is set to one. If I were to click it, it would be set to brown, and this would be set to two, so on and so forth. There's yellow, there's three, there's four, there's green, and if I hit it one more time, it goes back to blue, and it goes back to one. 
Now that means that each color is now assigned a value, which is important because I could take these values and transform it into a single output using a decoder, which I have yet to build, but I will. Let's say you have three blues in a row. This machine would transform that input into an output of one diamond block. Three yellows in a row, maybe a gold block. Two yellows in a row, maybe a gold ingot, something like that. The next part is I wanna have a single button up here that can start and stop the machine. And I'm kind of doing this one part at a time to help you guys break down this whole machine in your heads because I'm not a great explainer, but it's like each part of the machine plays a role, right? This is the part that simulates the slots. The mine carts are the part that turn the slots. Those feed tapes in the back are the parts that assign these colors of value. Four possible values in each of the three slots. Four times four times four. That's 64 possible outcomes of the whole machine. Technically, it does count as a computer because you're taking an input, transforming the data into an output. That's all that's required. Let me look that up, actually. Yeah, a computer is a machine or device that performs processes, calculations, and operations based on instructions provided by a software or hardware program. It has the ability to accept data, process it, and then produce outputs. So yeah, I'd say that this counts as a computer a very, very small computer, but a computer nonetheless. And the first computer on Back to Beta. Maybe you guys didn't think you'd be seeing this this season. I didn't either, but that's where we are at this point. So I'll see you when I install the next part. Now, a new addition has been made. Let me show you guys. These are the docking stations for the minecarts. When the machine is unactive, they sit up here. When I activate the machine, they head down, they go around these loops, and they make these piston feed tapes spin. This whole machine will be controlled from one input. This button. Go ahead and press that button for us. Okay. All right, the mine carts are going. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, it's a little slow, but that's about as fast as I could get it. The uh, slot on the right is gonna be the fastest, the one on the left is gonna be the slowest. Go ahead and press it again when you feel ready. Mm. I know you're gonna try to line them up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but I guess lining up is not the way it's working. <laughs> Close, you got, uh, you got two blues, that might mean something. The reason you can't just line them up and hope to get a good prize is because once that input goes in, it's turning that corner right there. Now, depending on when it's pressed, the minecart might be right about to head to this corner or might be right past this corner, or it might be over there. There's two detector rails. So once you hit it and you flick the switch, the minecart's gonna keep traveling, but depending on where it's at, it's gonna hit the detector rails again. Hitting that once isn't going to stop it right away. You may, it may turn one or two more times once the signal reaches up here. And it all depends on where the minecart's at. And the minecart's always gonna be in a different spot. They're not gonna line up because they're different size loops. So that keeps a, f a factor of randomness in here. There's no way to play it perfectly. It's, al it's almost completely random. It's virtual randomness. So that's kind of how that works. That makes sense? It makes sense, but not to me, because I, I don't <laughs> understand bullshit about this stuff, but uh, holy shit. <laughs> this is epic. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm... Whew. <laughs> this is crazy. It's kind of difficult to build it. Redstone's just different in the old versions. The next part is building the decoder that decodes those uh, signals, and that should be the fun part. I mean, the whole thing's been fun, but I've been excited to do that part the whole time. I gotta think about all the prizes I wanted to give you and that sort of thing. So, thank you for being my test dummy. Uh, it's a pleasure. Now, this is the next part. What I said before about these piston feed tapes deciding the output of those colors is now um, wiring into a sort of decoder that takes these signals and determines what they might mean. And you have to pre-program these. So, Right now, it's set to all yellows. You can't see it over there, but I know what it means. All yellows is an, a value of three. A third line and each piston feed tape is activated. That means you get a gold block. So there's a bunch of lines running underneath here, and there's a line running here. That torch, if that's on, you get a gold block. 
And let's say you just get two yellows. It could be any two yellows. It could be these two. It could be these two. It could be those two, so on and so forth. And I switch this. So now that's not a value of three anymore. That's not a yellow. It should be a green. You have a green, a yellow, and a yellow. You will get a gold ingot. Two yellows is a gold ingot. Three yellows is a gold block. That right there means you get an ingot. Let me switch these all over to diamonds. When it's all blue, you get it. Oh, great. As you can see, it's all blue right now, meaning you're getting an output of one on each of those piston feed tapes in the back. It's deciphering that, and you can't quite see it, but that torch that's activated right now means you get a diamond block. If it's just two, then you're getting a single diamond out of that one. I've fallen off of this thing so many times. This looks really cool from the bottom, actually. It looks pretty cool. It's getting a little bit too big. I'm going to have to cover it up with something, like a build. I don't know what that is going to be yet. At the moment, I just want to finish up all these combinations, and there's some more wiring I have to do. So I'll get back to you guys when I put in all the different combinations that I want to have. And we're back. So I finished up all the combinations. I'll list them once I finish the machine here. I'm thinking I actually need to build this lobby area for the whole thing. And Kelphone has suggested that I kind of just leave it as is. Like, don't build anything around it because he thinks it looks really cool. And I'll take his word for it. My plan is once I have all these combinations wired up, I'm going to build an elevator to get up here, a lobby area, and I'm just going to leave most of this exposed. Yeah, Kelphone said that if I did an Elmo impression, he would uh, give me a free spin at the Kelsino. And I did. And you guys don't get to hear it. Uh, sorry. Something I noticed about your, Kel your Kelsino here. There's just, yeah. what, there's just dispensers above these buttons? Yep. And there's more than the nine prizes. There's way yeah. more. There's only nine like spots in the dispenser. 60. So you have to put different prizes in the dispenser, which means one dispenser has the good prizes and the other one doesn't. Yeah. So as soon as I find out well, no, the, well, which one it is, evenly then I'm only going to click that on what, one. It, it depends on what you consider good. Like if you're just talking about diamonds, yeah, one of them has diamonds in it. Then I'm going to go but for like, that one every time once I find out which one it is. Right. I'll, I, but the, the thing is that I switch them around like, oh. occasionally. Oh, so, hey, look, there's a sheep. Oh, two sheep, really? Go get them. I look behind here. All right. All right, do your spin. Do my spin. So which one's the good one? I, I don't remember. One of them. Not that one. That's that's sand. That's pretty good. That's brown. That's brown oh, is that's wood. That's actually like probably the second best one. Oh, OK. Yeah, sure. Let me check it out. You get like three stacks of logs. And I'm going for that spruce because that's hard. That's yeah, I don't have a lot of that. Yeah, that's what most people go for. Hey, so I'm going to prank you right, right now. You know what? I'll what do you mean? I'm gonna prank you. How so? Hey, uh, which one's your favorite chest? <laughs> they're all, they're all useful which one's got? Chests. Which one's got all your valuables in it? This one. My, my diamonds. Check that out. Uh, Look what I put in there. <laughs> nice try, fool. Nice try. Ah. Nice try. Oh, you did <laughs> I worked ah. it out. <laughs> ah. What is he wearing? What are you what are you wearing over there? Huh? What are you what are you wearing? <laughs> oh, what's my skin? I don't Urban know. What, you you can tell me oh. though. Oh, oh I have an anteater skin on. It's an anteater? Oh. What is this? This is Monster's Spaghetti Redstone project. Oh, what is this redstone? That's a 64 bit computer. It's a spaghetti. Oh. It's a spaghetti. Yeah, no big deal. No big deal. Just what computer. can you calculate with yeah. it? What can I calculate? I can calculate. Whoa, whoa. I can give you a crippling gambling addiction with it. Here, you want to press that button? I feel like. Press okay. It. Now you're addicted. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this a is this a slot machine? You gotta hit it again to stop it. Oh, oh. okay. 
Well, let me uh, wait for it to be winning. Did you hit it? Uh, he did. You oh, win uh, nothing. You, you win a lifelong crippling addiction to gambling. That's <laughs> yeah. That's it. You. That's the only thing you get. So we had a great idea. What if we all got on and did a group build? at spawn. Just something we could all do together. I think that sounds really cool. Jaren's trying to shoot me right now. But, um, it's Jaren, Kelphone, Captain Cat, Box Blair, Pepper, and me are planning on hopping on. We're gonna pool a bunch of resources and we're just gonna build a way. We're gonna build a giant rail station or a train station. And the idea behind that is that once we have places that are further out, like I have a base that's far out, they might build their bases farther out later on they can connect all the bases together through this single rail station and it'll be like a wholesome community build. That's the idea anyways. Wish us luck, you're gonna see some clips from it. It's gonna be great, you'll see it all in a minute. Yeah, so that's zero zero and then we're gonna like, I think Pepper and I decided we're gonna build over here. I guess we, we either gotta build into this hill or like tear it out. All right. Yeah, let's uh, prank uh, Jaren because he's a big stupid idiot. I agree, we should do that, he's just AFK right there. I kind of want to light him on. Wait, I have an idea. Hey, I have an idea. Light him on fire. Do you have? Hey, get four netherrack and like surround him, but with fire. Shh. Okay, okay. Shh. Putting everything in here. Jaren pranked. Got his ass. He got. He got monged. Get monged. Get monged, idiot. That's not gonna catch on. Nope. Not. No one's yeah. allowed to say that anymore. Go say hi to your friend, Box Blur. He he misses you. Dude, what are we talking about? Oh yeah, well I was just saying, ow! We should all, like, what's our, like, in, like, what's our best, like, quality of building, right? Like, I'm good at interiors, I feel, right? We can all, like, come together and use each of our, like, best qualities to, like, sure. organize this build a little bit better. I think I'm gonna try to do the entrance and this bridge here. I'm gonna start on that, personally. Okay. okay. Take a screenshot of this real quick. Hey, we're all, we're all, like, grabbing as many blocks as we can from our bases and just, like, combining them here so we can start building so uh okay. go do that so yeah i guess we just hollow this out as much as we can i'm excited for this to see what this looks like i mean yeah this is just gonna be a super yeah, off be the interesting. Cuff. Just build it boys which uh, i was at. thinking for the floor we either do like a checkerboard pattern or just sandstone floor are we hollowing out over here are we going both ways i'm just i'm just thinking we hollow out as much as we can of this mountain get the emote ability yeah we almost like did. the only thing I used affiliate for was just having Nemo. That was like the most... Oh, it would be cool if you. We, we might. I think we might. Yeah. Have so out they had like a like sky roof, like, a skylight. I feel like we're almost. I feel like we're almost building from the from the uh, from the inside out. Like we're gonna shave out the the hill and then form the uh, exterior. I feel like. All right. Well, this is a cool train station. Light. I think we're about done. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Twenty <laughs> minute event, boys. Good job. You guys want to do like a curved roof? Yeah, do it. A lot of them do. And you had like I'm glass on the top like, and look at the, the well, sky. I was thinking we have a okay. second floor okay. for like the, can... the sky rail thing. Okay. Yeah, we can... Sistine Chapel it. Look at you guys go. Okay. Look at you guys. The loons are just going off outside. They're so loud. Hey, this is looking pretty cool from over here. Yeah, I'm trying to think about how to do this like half cog thing, whether I should do it with the spruce or should I do it with the oak? Up, over, nope, no, no, no. All right, go up. I think you need to go over twice. Up and then- Go can... over four times. Wait. One more, across one more, then up one, then oh, you're good. Yeah. Perfect. 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 How's that look? Does it look stupid? I no, know. I like it. It needs, it needs, it needs like some kind of something on the sides of it. How's that look? Oh yeah, that looks better already. Oh, okay. Can we just ah. Ah. We're not exactly mob proofed up here. I'm gonna see what you're doing here, Kel. Yeah, please help. I, Ooh, I don't know. I'm just kind I've... of detailing it right now. Yeah, I like what you got going on. Dude, this gun looks so good. I have an idea. Like this middle section. Uh, could we could change that up? Because we added those like lines in the side, we wanted it to uh, just take up some space. But what if I bit a bunch of like a bunch of skinny windows in a row? I don't know. I think they would look pretty good. What do you think? Why? Why? Why would that? I don't understand. Why would that make a difference? I don't know. I feel like that would spread out this middle section a little bit better. But um, exactly. I mean, if you want to try, 
So, like, okay, I'm pulling up paint. I'm pulling up pulling paint, up paint right paint. now. He's pulling up paint. There's that. There's your entrance, whatever. Now, your middle layer, you have your cog starting up here. But here, you just kind of have, like, one in the middle. Then you have all this empty space. So, like, threw a bunch of lines in here and shit to kind of cover it up. Yeah. But instead of, like, one and one big one in the middle, what if we did, like, like this? Give it a try if you want. How does that look? Yeah, nice. I like that. Yeah, def. Oh, yeah. You could do the minecart exit right there. You know? What if you, but what if you put two of them? I'm starving what? and I'm tired, and I think if I sleep, I'll get over my hunger. Okay. Keep your opinion That's on easy. this. Yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely rocking with the cobblestone more. All right. Okay. Okay. Good night. Let me. Um. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> yes. I, I can't do it anymore. So. We didn't finish our build last night. It's looking really good, and I'm excited to see where it finishes. Kelphone built these cool gardens on either side. Really like these. Box player. Box player and I kind of worked out this, some of the design here. I worked out more of the details. He worked out more of the overarching structure. I built this bridge and that thing. This is actually the center of the world. This is zero, zero. Check it out. I might put a bench here or something later. We're gonna have our rails come out on the sides here. And the inside, well, there was a mountain here, which we removed. Uh, it's a little bit of a work in progress. I'm excited to see this build get finished. So here is what I got so far for this cover sort of deal. I also changed out the colors here. I went from brown to red and dark green to light green because I feel like those colors pop a lot better. I still have to have an area for the drops. And here, which I'm gonna clear out, I want this area to be an automatic redstone elevator. Box player has a tutorial for an elevator that would fit in here, and I'm probably going to use his as a basis. And it's going to start all the way at the bottom, bring you all the way up, and then an area you can jump down into water. And then I had an idea, what if I uh, surrounded the elevator with like lava or something so you couldn't see it? Nah, I'm not going to do that, that's stupid. It looks very cool when you're seeing it from the side here. I feel like it needs a little bit more decoration somehow, but I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I'll worry about that later though, I want to get the elevator in first, and I need to attach the dispensers. Something really weird just happened. If you don't know, uh, this is a block transmutation machine that Box Player built. Now, they're pretty wacky. They take blocks that have the same values as other blocks and kind of swap them, depending on the direction. So, this one's facing... Uh, zero, so whatever direction that is, but still, if you put slabs in here, any kind of slabs, you get this block here, which isn't actually craftable. This is the only way to obtain it. They're called crash slabs, you know, uh, I built some stuff with them before. In the last episode, I got pranked with them, you've seen it all. But, I tried stairs. There's two types of stairs, I wondered if doing it in here would change it. But as you saw, it just made it invisible. Like, if I punched it, the particles are still here, right? But I can walk through it. If I re-log, it'll still be this way. Like, you can mine it, you'll get just a, a cobblestone block like normal. But the stairs are now invisible. Things go through it. So I'm wondering, what does that mean? I can't place a slab there because there is technically a block there, but now it's transparent. So what do I do with that? What does that mean? You can't mine it and move it somewhere. That sounds like a really complicated prank idea. Just to mess with somebody. Just put this block above their bed or, you know, somewhere. And they're trying to place a block and it just, they can't figure it out. That's just really, really weird. I thought you guys would want to see that. Oh man, my heart's kind of racing. I'm in the nether mining some glowstone and there's just gas popping in and out, blasting me. And the worst part is that when they shoot a fireball at you, they actually don't make a sound. I think that's just a server thing. I only want a little bit more and then I'm gonna get out of here. I would be an idiot not to take these mushrooms. Oh! Where'd, where'd they come from? Oh no! It was such a good spot and I don't even have a bow, so they're impossible to kill without one. Oh. Uh, Oh no. Oh. Man, that was so close. <laughs> should I escape or should I make a stand? You can still see me. Oh, no, 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 back up. If I can find some brown mushrooms, then I can make some bowls and I can get out of here. There we go. There we go. I should have brought a bowl with me, but I thought it would be in and out. Thankfully, I haven't died yet. I don't think it matters in modern versions, but in these old versions, you do have to stack them on top like that. Because if you don't stack them on top like that, like, if you just do it any which way, you won't get the soup. Which is so dumb. You can't craft it in a 4x4 space. It only works on a crafting table. No! 
Don't mess with my mushroom garden. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, I hate gas. Gas are the phantoms of beta. Okay, uh, quick editor's note. I went on a really long rant during that recording and I didn't plan on leaving it in there, but then I thought it would be uh, really funny if I turned it into an incredibly dramatic montage. So yeah, that's what I spent several hours doing. So apologies in advance. You know what? I swear, if I see another ghast, I don't care what it takes. I'm gonna put that thing in the ground. I'm sick of this. I'm tired of it. I'm sick of these ghasts coming and taking our freedom. This nether is ours. This isn't their nether. This is my nether. I won't sit here like cattle and let them destroy us. You, you hear me? You, you, you're going down. Keep shooting me. You're not gonna hit me, not this time. You know what? That was a lucky shot. Your retribution is at hand. I'm not just doing this for myself. I'm doing it for all the beta males. Box Blair, Jargon, Captain Cat, the other guys. You, I don't need a bow to kill you. This sword works perfectly well on its own and I'm more than capable. This is my chance. I can take revenge for all of us. I'm gonna save us all. Here's what we got so far. Now I have the elevator, and that's what I went to the nether for, these glowstone things. Uh, it may look kind of strange from here, but once you get up close, you'll see what I meant when I just started building them. This elevator is uh, based off of Box Blair's design, but it's a little bit more efficient and a little bit less expensive. It goes a little bit slower than his though, and that's just to account for server lag. If I went any faster, then you just get stuck, which is which kind of sucks, but that's what we have to deal with. So anyway, this is how it looks from here. I have these hanging glowstone things. Uh, I'm gonna put like a roof thing over this, and from the roof is where the prizes are gonna spit out from. Here's the slots. Now they're spinning. The only prize I have programmed in now is the uh, re-roll. If you get three reds in a row, you get a re-roll. If the prizes had been programmed, I would have received a common item because I got at least one green. But yeah, I want to decorate this up some more. I think it'd be really cool if I had like a pool of water underneath that you could jump down into. That's just, it's getting to be so laborious, but it would be a quick way down, you know? I would like this to be done before the end of the episode, but uh, we'll see. I know it's late, but what am I, what am I looking at here? Okay, yeah, so the slot machine is coming along, but I actually don't have the resources to stock it with prizes. So I'm gonna have to do that. Uh, I need a bunch of gold, a bunch of diamonds, and I actually need a lot more obsidian. So that's what we're gonna do. Instead of a boring mining time lapse, I thought I would take a page out of Kelphone's book and show you guys how I make a cup of tea. Some of you know, some of you don't, but I'm really into tea. I don't drink pop or alcohol, I'm just a tea guy. So I filmed an awkward segment where I brew some new tea that I got and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it because I had fun. 
So I've been getting into white teas lately and I actually just bought this stuff here. It's called Silver Wild Moonlight. Uh, I don't know why. Now, I already have some water boiled. They don't have much experience with white teas, but they have a very distinct flavor. That's what I'm working with. Now I'm just doing a little cup right now. It's a mesh filter. It's about eight ounces. These leaves are huge, check that out. What's neat about white tea is they actually harvest it early on purpose. I, I don't know why that changes the flavor so much, but like I said, it is a more pure tasting flavor. A little bit on the lighter side. It's also more expensive. I don't believe I need to use very much for this. So since I'm just trying it out, I've boiled my water to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to steep it for three minutes, exactly. White tea is a little bit more forgiving than green tea is. Green tea will be really bitter if you oversteep it. That smells really good already. While we wait for that to steep, I'll talk about it a little bit. I got this at a local tea store. It's far away, but I mean, what am I going to do? Any of you who are like more familiar with my content know that I'm actually pretty passionate about tea. I don't normally touch the leaves, but these leaves are huge. Look at this. Look at that. That's really big. The first white tea I ever got was called Ontario Ice Wine. Ice wine's neat because it's wine made from frozen grapes and that's infused into the white tea. The leaves are a little bit smaller. I steep it a little bit longer than I would steep this, but I'm just testing this one. So when I bought this tea, it's described as a standard white tea with an almond finish. It doesn't actually have almonds in it, but it has sort of a nutty taste. I have an oolong tea that's kind of similar, so I'm wondering if it'll taste more like that. Oh, and there is the timer. Alright, now I'm gonna do maybe a spoon and a half full of honey. little bit more. I want to smell this. It's still pretty hot, but it kind of smells like, like a wood smell. Not a fresh wood smell, but more like an antique wood smell. Not in a bad way though. Alright, I'm gonna try this. It's probably gonna burn my tongue. I'm just impatient. Okay, first impressions. I think I used a little bit too much honey in it. I wouldn't do that much next time. I would definitely steep this for longer to get more of that flavor out. It tastes like a white tea. When I heard that it had an almond finish to it, I thought that meant it would be nutty, but it's more like, it's more like almond milk. You know, it's kind of like creamy. It's pretty good. I'm experimenting still with it. I mean, I just got it. It is a little bit creamy tasting. That's different from the other white tea that I have. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty good. Oh man, this cup's hot though. The other one has a lot of flavor packed into it because it's infused. This one is more, I'd say natural. I don't think they add anything to it. It is just white tea that they cut. This is a specific cut that gives it its flavor. And it really does taste like it has a little bit of almond milk in it. Final thoughts, steep it for a little bit longer next time. Maybe use a little bit more leaves, less honey. And uh, I think that would really improve the flavor. But so far I'm really liking it. Thanks for enjoying a cup of tea with me. Oh yeah, and there's been a development. Two more people have actually joined the Back to Beta server. That is Dialco and Greffin. If you know them, their channel links are now in the description. And I'm about to go say hi to Griffin right now, actually. Hello. <laughs> Do you want me to give you a grand tour of everything? Yeah, sure. You can give me you can give me a bit more of an, an, an a scheduled or, or sort of like a tour that actually knows things because I was sort of just looking around and thinking, oh, this looks lovely. Fair enough. This is the town hall. Perfect. Across this way, this is uh, my house at spawn. I have a base further out, but this is like my home base, I guess. Mm -hmm. Your your base in the center sort of base. Yeah, I, right. I see the vision. Here's Captain Cat's bridge to his base. Mm hmm. This is our shopping district, or our spend money district, because, you know, yeah. Kelphone's Kelsino, right? This idea that he stole from me before I had it. <laughs> uh-huh. Pepper's Hotel, there's my gambling machine, which I'm uh, still working on. Uh-huh. 
Uh huh. There is the. This is my shop. Another shop just for buying and selling things. But uh, mm -hmm. new deals all the time. Just so I check back if you ever have money <laughs> or things you want to sell. Yeah, at the quick moment. little advertisement. Yeah, a little bit of a plug there. Right now, I'm looking for clay blocks. So if you want a diamond, 32 clay blocks, that's an easy way to get it. It feels almost like in these versions, everyone wants clay blocks, but I'll I'll keep that in mind. Oh, I'm saving up. This is Black Splare's <laughs> redstone shop. Mm -hmm. This is his bread shop as well. This is also his, the box bakery. Another well-themed build. Uh -huh. I actually really like how it turned out. You wouldn't think that the interior would work out to be so good, seeing as it looks like bread, but it actually is like a little cozy interior. It's lovely. This is Jaren's shop up this way, which he closed because I guess he was lazy, didn't feel like restocking it. Uh-huh. And uh, he has like a camp and this big oil drill thing. <laughs> Awfully environmentally friendly. Yeah, look, he has oil spills here, but they're... Uh, <laughs> They're uh, closed off so they don't spread, which is nice. I guess that's good. And this is, I guess, just a tunnel underneath the tunnel to the kill tower. Leads to a great reveal though, Jesus. It really does. Watch out for this guy though. He'll, uh, he's a little bit of a opportunist. I, yeah, I'm a little afraid when I read things like this, but you know, when I see this big imposing tower and I see DM me for a, a valued meeting, I'm, I'm not, in, not entirely certain how to take it, but. Oh yeah, the island in the middle, which is artificial, by the way, is um... <laughs> you could have fooled me actually, that looks pretty good. Yeah, Kelphone uh, built that, he built that little shrine there to Lapis. It's something from his uh, single player series. You want to check out the gambling machine? I feel like I have to, right? Like, I feel like it's so imposing over there that I feel like it, I have no other choice than to say, like, yeah, it's like, show me your frightening machine. I guess, technically, it's really just a computer up here, and I'll show you and I'll let you play with it for now, because there's not uh, any mm. prizes yet. Simply just a... It's a little bit of a mess. Mm -hmm. The whole computer is uh, controlled by just one button. Okay, so if you want to stand in the winner spot right here, and you hit that button, so, okay, see how this is happening. This is like the like display. Mm -hmm. Those are the slots and these those are, ones these in the middle. The slots. And then you hit it again to stop it when you're ready. Okay. Um, so if you had gotten two reds, mm -hmm. then that means you get a common item. Okay. So I see you'd have like a little legend to go along with it then. All right, I still have to incorporate that somewhere. Like maybe I'll have a book that just describes the prizes because I'm pretty sure there are written books in this version. I, uh, I, I don't think so. Hold on. I, uh... There's not? Ah! Oh. I'm, I'm gonna don't think that's a thing yet. Very sorry to, very sorry to tell you. Oh man, I went for so long thinking that they existed. <laughs> Why don't I give you some, like, like a gift just to help you get on your way? All right, that's perfect actually. A lot of wood, I can I can definitely put that to use. Iron, even better. And Don't have to mine with stone. One of these suckers, here you go. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. is this the stupid? Why don't you check thing? that out? Why don't you Why don't you check that I, out in your inventory? I might as well. I know what this will This will be This will be how I end this. Let's see. Let's check out this slab. I have no idea what happens with this slab. Let's see. I love beta. Oh, there I go. <laughs> they don't really have anything like that in modern. Uh, and they should. They should re-add these uh, crash slabs so that you can kick your friends off of a multiplayer server. I think so. I'm looking forward to what you do next. I uh, really am. It's awesome to have you. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> just incredibly happy to be here. I don't know. I feel like I've, I've had so many ideas in just the, like <laughs> half an hour that I've been here. I feel like I've got... I've got lots of good plans here. I'm excited. Thanks w for joining. Wonderful us. talking. Wonderful yeah. meeting you, I guess. Because, yeah, we've, we've never talked before. This has been wonderful. Well, hey. Hello. Hey, home invader. Wait, no, I'm a refugee. Nice threads, man. Here. Here you oh, go. Thanks. Take that. Nice. Might help you out oh, a little wow, bit. going to do a lot. Thanks. As much as a diamond helmet will do. I mean, that's pretty good. That is true. Hey, before you go in there, do you recognize this house style at all? Yes, I do. Yeah. And I remember watching your video and talking about it. This is my house. The theme is heavily inspired from Dialco. Since you've seen most of Spawn, I figure, uh, I might as well take you to my base. It's a little bit further away and just show you a little bit of hospitality. Uh, and we could take sure. the scenic route or we can take the nether 
route. The scenic route involves uh, boats. <laughs> boats on a multiplayer server. Uh, it's I've sketchy. done it. I've done it. It's possible. It's sketchy, but possible. I dug canals <laughs> all the way there. Let's do it. Let's do the boats. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, your arms are swinging back and forth and your legs are sticking outside really? the boat. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I could watch that all day. And then I guess we're kind of going to pass around the the shopping district. I see your giant, uh, whatever that is. It's like a computer, sort of. <laughs> That's so insane. Yeah, and then... Uh, I... <sighs> So it's like, it's it's even further than this? Eh, yeah, but we get to some open water, so. No, that's fine. I'm just surprised it's so out there. It's pretty. It's pretty through here. Oh yeah, it's a nice trip. I remember when I passed by here, those mountains to the right of us, those were breathtaking to see. I don't know. They're in front of this huge oh, lake. They're amazing. Oh yeah, that's amazing, actually. That's really cool. This is uh, this is an adventure. Oh, we're we're here now. Oh, I think I do remember seeing this, or like in construction, sand for the roofs. Very interesting. I feel like That's that. Cool. Yeah, I feel like that creates like a different color palette. I actually really like it. These old old castles used to have like massive planks, and they'd have to stick them way out from the center just to support the roof for like weight balance. So that's what I tried to do. That's why those oh, things are sticking out so much. Oh. Some things you might need to get started. Here's some iron. Here's some wood. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Nice. But I can also give you... Do you like mushrooms? Uh, sure. <laughs> awesome. I don't really use mushrooms. They're pretty useful. I found that they heal five hearts in this version. Oh. You know, they're stackable. You just have to craft them. So it's pretty good stuff. Uh, there's a mine shaft here. If you want to crash here for a little bit, like go mining or whatever you want, like, it's all here. Nice, nice, thank you. Yeah, this, this, this thing is insane, I'd better say. Oh yeah, I really like, the, like how that messes with your perspective. I like builds yeah. that do that. You wanna go down? So cool. Yeah, I'll take a ride. <laughs> oh, that is cool. Oh yeah, there's something down there I can show you as well that I thought was pretty cool. Check this out. Oh my god. Nice. This is where I'm gonna sacrifice you. Don't. You won't get the <laughs> items if you do that. It was a lava lake that spawned down here, so I just cleared out. I just turned it all to obsidian and cleared it out. So it just spawned? I mean... It spawned real so low in no the world, bedrock? yeah. Lava pools naturally spawn with stone and lava, so like when they're in the surface, you'll know there's one when there's stone poking out, right? right. So that stone spawns as part of that uh, generation. So the stone here replaced the bedrock in the very bottom. And I mined it out, and it goes straight to the void. I didn't know that could happen. I didn't know it could happen either. Damn, I want to find one now. That's awesome. Is that all natural? Oh yeah, that's all natural. It's like it's really cool. And if you look at yeah. it from the from the perspective of the beach, it looks like a giant ship. Oh really? That's yeah. Cool. Here I'll show you. Check this out. Looks like a boat. Oh dang, you're right. Yeah, I call it a ship rock. The land of ship rock. I love it. That was fantastic. All right, well, it was uh, nice to show you around, and I'm looking forward to see what you do here. It was awesome, yeah, thank you so, so much, and uh, thanks for the stuff. That's going to help me, actually. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, I got a few ideas for what I want to do. All right, well, I'll see you later. All right, see ya. All right, here's where we are at with this decoration here. I kind of did the roof here, it's a little funky shaped, but I, I think it turned out decently well. And I really like these, how I incorporated the hanging glowstone here. And then I did these separate lanterns on this side, and I really like that. I used jack-o'-lanterns instead of glowstone, because it's a, it's a different accent color, it's a different light block. I also wired up all the prizes properly, so I just have to fill them now. And check this out, I actually managed to make this piston elevator faster without it bugging out and crushing you. So that's a big win. And I have this all set up. I need to write down the rules and uh, put a donation chest and what the prize schematic is. That's new, by the way. Box player's working on something. So I'm working on this. I'm building a pool down here you can jump into. And I changed the color scheme here a little bit. It's looking pretty good, but I actually need to fill this with water. So I said I would pay Dialco and Pepper to like fill this up for me, to help me fill it up. Uh, I don't know if Pepper will accept, but it looks like Dialco is just diving in head. You want the water to be at the obsidian or just below it? Yeah, to the obsidian, so you can swim okay. out. I think you know? I'll kindly okay. decline. Aww. 
I've been lazy. I haven't been feeling it. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. It's my birthday today. It's your birthday. Oh, yeah, really? Old. Dang, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Stay there. Where, where are you going? Um, you want to get the first spin at the gambling machine? That's crazy. I could get the first spin, yeah. Oh. Okay, so you can keep whatever prize you get. You're very likely to get a prize. If you don't get a prize, I'll let you spin it again. But since it's your, Me? since you're the birthday boy, I'll give you a free spin. So go ahead, hit that button, okay. and then hit it when you want it to stop spinning. Okay, it's moving. So I just hit it. Okay, okay, let's see. Ooh. Ooh, that's Ooh. a good prize. That's a good prize. Here, stand there. Prize. Stand there. Boom. Ooh. Crazy. Boom, Did boom. it drop gold? Nice. Yeah, it gave you some gold. It just drops the prize? Yeah. Wild. That's making uh, Kelphone's Casino look really rudimentary. <laughs> it actually has like slot. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, there's something wrong with me. God. Um, Dalco logged off for a little bit, so he'll finish this up, filling that with water. And I got this idea, what if I uh, continued like putting these lanterns that I put way up there, down here, all the way around. And then I thought I was just going to do that with cobblestone, but then I thought, oh, spruce would look so much better. So of course, of course, now I have to go get spruce because I'm committed to the detail. I just, I do too much crap in the name of details. I could have done it easy, I could have made it cheap, but no, I... I have to, I'm like, I, I'm, I'm obsessive over this sort of thing. I have to commit to these details I decide on. So once again, I'm gonna go do another whole tree chopping mission with like six, five axes. I'm gonna go get as much wood as I possibly can. And it's gonna take me several hours. And I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna finish this thing before the end of the chapter. I swear to God, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to finish it. There's no way. It's finished, everything's done. Holy crap, I just kept coming back for more details. I think I'll eventually terraform this, but this is what it looks like here. I ended up doing the pool, the pool looks great. Dalco helped me with that. These lanterns are strung all the way around. I built a Tory gate here with like a medallion thing. I ended up looking kind of oriental. That wasn't my intention going in, but I like this style and it just kind of, just kind of ran away from me, so. I'm gonna go to the top of the hourglass here and get a view from the top. It looks really cool from up there, I think. Look at that, that looks awesome. Got the redstone machine. I finally fixed all the bugs in it. You got the, this roof thing here. You got these hanging lanterns. You got the, got the slots. You got this elevator, you got the pool, you got that area. It all comes together so well, I think. That looks just awesome. What's fun is that I mostly had the computer like designed in my head, but then the creative portion, I don't have any like designs ready. So I just kind of threw things together and got ideas over and over. We're gonna do the grand opening in a second. And there's the official ribbon. So we're gonna do the ribbon cutting real quick. You got your diamonds? I got one diamond. That's it? more than I'm willing to spend because I'm ready to gain a gambling addiction. Ribbon cutting, let's go. Let's cut the ribbon. Hey, Ribbon's there it goes, cut. there it goes. Hey. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna burn all the way, is it? No, it isn't. Actually, that's gonna be real sad. This is <laughs> really <laughs> slow. Yeah, yeah, there, there, that's, yeah. Yeah. That's a, Let's go. Come on, oh, yeah, here. Yeah, you're fine. There's that's a pool, good. that's good. Go up one at a time, one at a time. Here we are, all right, who's gonna go first? Let me read this. <laughs> you blue. Read the, like, one diamond block, two blue, one diamond, three yellow, one gold block, one diamond per spin, put in chest, press start to press to stop, wait for prize, two yellow, one gold ingot, one or two green. This is too much shit. I sort of feel lobotomized at reading you. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna... There's only seven possible combinations. That's not that much. <laughs> Back up, Griffin. He, he's, in the, he's in the splash zone. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All right. 
<laughs> Mildly terrifying. It's rolling. Wait, oh, I'm gonna grab something. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, wait. Where are you Hold going? On. Wait, I'm grabbing something real quick. Don't stop my spin. I paid for that. It's uh, still, still going. <laughs> You're going so far away. I'm gonna watch you unload here. I'm gonna be honest. What? All right, I am on the way back. <laughs> you, you were grabbing more diamonds so you could, so you could play more, right? Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm coming back. With, with, with more diamonds time. because this thing is so fun you just want to spend more I love gambling so much I love gambling I'm gonna... I just can't wait to gamble here stand at the edge wait I'm actually good actually I just ran over that pig alright this is what I brought it's for good luck <laughs> this is your good luck child. yeah good luck <laughs> you waited that long for that okay great Let's see what you get. Oh, oh luck. Luck Maybe is on your side. Day. It worked. That was pretty good. I feel like I feel like the good luck charm was definitely worth oh, it. That's not bad. That's actually, yeah, that's like pretty good. I got a, I got a, I got a gold block and a gold ingot. So it's still broken. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Good to cool. know. Good Keeping to know. That. I'm a little, I feel like... I can't replicate your success because you just let it run for like eight years. I feel like I got to do the opposite and just like make it be real quick. You gotta. I feel like I just got to close it when it's early. I just got to believe. That, that's a diamond. Do you get your money back? I, I'm actually so happy with that. I was, I was really, I was actually. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a common prize because you have a green. Oh, and I have a green. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I'm, I'm actually, nice. I'm just going to pay it straight back in. I've, I've got a gambling addiction now. It's happening. Yeah, I know this is going to happen. This is how they get you. Yeah, look at him. He's, he's, he's such a sucker. I feel like that's not the greatest business strategy, but I, I won't say anything. You didn't hear me. I actually didn't. This is true. The middle one just stopped spinning, so that means a mob probably got back there. And can I say, can I claim that it's been broken then? Is that allowed? <laughs> no. Yeah, I'll take, I'll, I'll take the gold. I'll take uh, the gold. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back there and just like check it out real quick. Just get a little, <laughs> just while get he's a, doing quick, quick that, little maintenance. Come check out the Kelsina. No, oh God. shouldn't do that. That. Oh, that means I just auto. Oh, you're new here. I haven't even done like a like a deal with you. I I have not. This is this is like my first week here. Oh, yeah. We need to organize that soon. I need to make another presentation. <laughs> that sounds terrifying, but all right. But, uh, you know, you just put one diamond in, you, you will win one of these. Put my no, 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 no! No! Oh! Well, we kind of did it. We kind of accomplished my goal. I built what I wanted to build. There's still some kinks in the system to work out, but it mostly functions, and that is what matters. Let's see how much we actually made here. Hey, that's five diamonds. That's pretty good. Uh, considering like the half sack of diamonds I probably poured into this and all the man hours. But the whole point was that it's fun. And I'm, I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. I'm pretty proud of myself. I built an actual computer in the back to beta server. So that's pretty cool. And I do not have a name for this machine at all. Uh, so if you guys have a great suggestion, uh, I like puns. So go ahead and leave it in the comments. But I think that's going to be... The end of the chapter. I think a lot of stuff happened in this chapter. I mean, I know I just built this thing, but that took a long time. There was the tea that I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, Dalco joined, Greffin joined. We did all kinds of crazy stuff. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry about the delay for the episode, but you can see why it was necessary. I'll see you guys later. So bye bye